Hi, so today I'm going to be building in The Sims 4, but it's going to be a family Christmas house. Now, I don't want it to be too big of a house, so I'm building a new crest today. So it's going to be a one bathroom, two bedroom type of house. And then I'm actually going to raise it just on a slight platform. I'm going to take this roof piece, I'm gonna bring it all the way that way and all the way forward. Actually, no, not feeling it, not feeling it. Let's try a different piece. I use this piece over here, and then I'm gonna go in and get a big chimney. I might actually size it up and put it on the side of the house here and we can always add another one in the corner <clears throat> Gonna go quite dark for the roof pieces and then I'm actually going to take this roof trim from Cottage Living I'm feeling an old cottage today. That's what we're going for I actually curve these roof pieces just slightly by pulling that for outside We could go for like the brick whisper or the stones and stack actually that could work We could actually just add windows here and put the door over here so we could take this this one from Cottage Living. Definitely gonna need some stairs or the Sims cannot get up there because they're useless. Then better give them a handrail in case they fall off. For the front of the house, I'm gonna take these from Cottage Living and then maybe like a small little window up here could be cute. This one's really cute and I think it comes with a fox. Oh, look at that, that's so cute. That's from Cottage Living as well. And then for the back of the house, we could use these windows. I'm gonna go in with some pillars and we could take these ones from Cottage Living or these ones from the werewolf pack. And then I'm just gonna copy copy them and place them all around the house. And then for house decorations, we could go in and add some ivy. If I hold out, I can just slightly move it up a little bit. And then to make it look a bit more realistic, I'm gonna go in and change some of the colors. Oh, look how pretty that is. Could even add some vampire ivy behind it. And then we could add some flowers over here. Change the color, maybe to like a yellow, that's pretty. We could add a couple of these on the sides. Not sure what they are, I will not tell a lie, but they're, they're quite cute. I do wanna add some of these baskets. I love these, these are from base game and honestly, they're just so handy for builds like this. That is not straight. We could actually add these little baskets on top like that just to give it a bit more flowers. Because in my head, the Sims that lives here is obsessed with gardening. Now for the front, I wanna fence them in. So I'm gonna take this one from Cottage Living and maybe change it to a lighter brown. And then here, I want her to have some pumpkin patches, some flower beds, just so she can make so many nice fruit and veg and flowers. But first I'm gonna go in with some terrain and I'm just gonna go over any bit that the house is on just to make it a look bit more realistic. And then I wanna make a little pathway. So I think I'm gonna take this one from base game and maybe add some stones like that to back here. So I'm gonna take a couple of these and place them on the side that way. You could maybe even have like a little chicken coop. That could be nice. Maybe we could add like a little back area where she's got for the chickens. Just like that in the back there. We can even change the color. Ooh, that's a nice dark color. Then we can add a few hay bales over here. A couple of buckets. And then I'm gonna go back into the terrain tool and just mark all of that that I put down. Just because we're chickens, it's definitely gonna leave a mess, isn't it? And then we could add a little pathway. I'd add like a little tree in the back over here as well. I wanna leave this open. Maybe I can add a door somewhere in the house. We move this window over slightly. Definitely gonna need a step again, cause you know, Sims are useless. And then honestly, we might as well just get rid of that. That way, no foxes can come and eat them. Not eat them, steal the eggs. Add a few flowers in the back. Me, only a few flowers, also me flowers everywhere. And then over here, we could either add a little pond or a tree. And then back over here, we could have a little seating area as well so she can admire her plants. We could actually add a couple of these colorful ones in and leave a couple of the seed packets around. We have a little seating area back here and then we can add some nice lights in as well. Oh, and then look at it at nighttime, so cute. So our entrance is gonna be over here. We probably are gonna add a bathroom in the corner corner maybe. So I get rid of some of these walls. I don't know how I'm gonna make this into a two bedroom actually. We can cut this off here. Bathroom is done. Need to move that window. Okay, so this is the shape I've gone for today. So we're gonna have almost like an open hallway over here. This is gonna be the bathroom. One bedroom, two bedroom, and then an open living room, dining room type of thing. So let's do a bedroom first. I feel like I'm gonna want this wood basically throughout the whole house. In my head, this is going to be two twins that live with their grandparents. So you can have a bed over there and a bed in this corner here. One thing that's handy is that these bunk beds actually come with 
with desks, which is so good. We could give them a decent computer to do their schoolwork on. And then they're gonna need a dresser. So we could add one in the corner over here. We could use this one from movie stuff. I really like this wardrobe actually. Put that in the corner there. We could actually maybe add an easel in the corner as well. And then over here, we could add like a little bookshelf. We could almost use this one. You know, maybe they haven't got that much money and they've decided that they're gonna keep some of the old furniture. So it could have been like this when they were kids, but then they were like, you know what, we'll paint it. Definitely need some warmth in here. So I'm gonna go in and find a nice cozy rug. We could go for circle ones throughout actually. That could be an idea. And I wonder which one I'm gonna go for, the high school pack, cause that has some of the best ones. Where is it though? There it is. So this comes in so many good colors. My favorite being this green and this yellow. We do have a window over here. So we're gonna need some curtains. We could go with just something, maybe not these today. I feel like I use them a lot. We could do something different. We could go for these ones from Paranormal Pack. These kind of remind me when you go to like your grandma's house. I'm Welsh, so my gran was called Nine. And then we've got some space over here, so I could always add something on the walls. They are in school, so we could give them like a cork board. And I'm gonna change the lighting in here to make it a bit more cozy. These ones from Cottage Living are really good for that. They don't give off much light, but they're really nice and cozy. And I don't really want to put much else in. I, I really like the way this looks actually. It's quite simple, but you know, it's really a nice clean house to play in actually. Cause sometimes when you've got too much stuff in the house, I don't want to play in it. So there's too much going on. And this little bit here, we could add maybe like an old chair in the corner. Just like, you know, like a random chair that they found in like a car boot sale years ago. We could pop one of them in the corner here. And then maybe again, we could go in with this rug, but we could use a different color. And we need curtains again. We could go for these from Dream Home decorator and then I'm gonna change the lighting oh not the walls I'm gonna change the lighting and then on these walls we could have a couple of family pictures and then we could have just a little side table here and maybe this simple old mirror and then because it's Christmas we need some decorations on here so I kind of want to go into seasons and go and get the cards and these come in some really cute colors so we've got that one for Christmas I think we've got a few Christmas ones and then we could also have like a little embrace stand here. This one's actually quite a handy one because it's quite long. So it's got any pretty colors though. But that one's not too bad actually. And then we need one for the front door, definitely. So maybe we could whip out the Christmas one or not because that looks cute. Is there any Christmas decorations we could add here? We could add the freezer bunny. He's having a great time there. Okay, and then that's gonna be the hallway done. We're gonna move on. Maybe we could just do the bathroom next. It's quite a big bathroom actually. So I might go in and add the laundry day stuff. But I never know what it's under so I always have to go into the packs here to find it. So we could add a tumble dryer and a washing machine. Add one of them because why not? We need maybe like one of these as well. Oh, definitely could add all the ironing boards over there. We need a wash basket as well. Put that there. Oh, we, you know, maybe it would help if we if I actually added the bathroom stuff we needed. That could be an idea. I swear, like they always have colorful toilets, colorful sinks. All right, that must have been the fashion back then. So I'm going to add that in. And we could have a black one. I know my nine had like a green one, I think. And then I know base game has a different color one. So I'm gonna add that in black. And then they always have these mirrors or like these mirrors that open as well. Now we can't forget about the toilet roll. Did anyone else's gran have like a toilet roll holder so you got the toilet roll here and then they had like almost like a girl in a dress on top of it I'll find a photo and pop it on the screen because she had my gran had so many of them could have like a little duster on the wall over here as well we could almost add like a little side table in here as well just to add more random stuff to have like your toothbrushes on it some of these bath bits Definitely need a hand towel and some washing stuff can go under here. Oh, I need curtains. Definitely can't forget the curtains. Okay, we'll go with these ones because these definitely remind me of like an old person's house. Okay, bathroom is done. Let's move on to the big open space over here. Now I'm gonna go in either to cottage living or the country pack actually, because this one has really nice ones. Could go for the green or maybe the yellow. Or the, no, we'll go for the cream. That's, that's pretty. I think I'm gonna put the sofa over here. I might move the bathroom door actually just a little bit. I don't think that made any difference. But we definitely need a fireplace. We could add one over here. 
I think I'm going to take this sofa from City Living and just pop that there. And then in the corner here, I'm going to have like an old telly, maybe on something like this. And then just like a standard old telly. That's, that's what she had. We need another rug because rugs are cozy. So we could go for a werewolf pack one. The green's really pretty actually. And then I don't know where to put my Christmas tree yet. Why are you blue? You're not supposed to be blue. Instead of a curtain, we could just add a wreath around the windows. Like that, that's pretty. Definitely need to f actually put a kitchen in. I'm gonna go for, oh, we could, oh, we could go for that. That's actually really pretty. And then I want the matching fridge. And the fridge was always in a random place by itself. So I'm gonna pop that there. We do need a dining table, actually. We could put one against the sofa here. I remember she had like a table like this, but it like took in and then you could like extend it when more people came over. And we can add these chairs as well from Cottage Living. And then we could put the fridge in the corner over here. And then maybe if we get rid of one of the counter tiles, we don't need all of them. We need this country sink. So I'm gonna get rid of another tile and I might actually add a couple back here. Do you know what? It's actually quite a big kitchen. And then back here, I can't remember where they're under, but it's just like the most randomest stuff. Almost like this sort of stuff really, which actually looks really pretty. And then we can have our bits and bobs for the kettle over here. She's into a gardening, so she needs a little spatula there. Spatula, you know what I mean. We could actually add one outside as well. Oh, my door has disappeared. And we can put some kitchen clutter into these things. Always a bowl of fruit kicking about somewhere. Need some stuff like that. We could add some cozy blankets in the corner. Oh, and there's like always cake always cake somewhere. Oh, we got the chicken. We need the chicken and some tea. We need some tea on the table ready. I need a Christmas tree. Where can I put a Christmas tree? I guess I'll have to go over here. All right, let's go back in seasons and let's get a Christmas tree. Might be a bit big. I might size it down just slightly in front of the window. And then we could add some more cards. Why are they so high up? Actually, I'll add this little box here because that helps decorate the house. And we'll have some presents over here by the fire, which is probably, yes, a very bad idea, but it's fine because it's the Sims. Although it's not really, is it? Because they'll probably set the house on fire knowing them. And we could have like a random bits that she's kept over the years from the ones her grandkids have made when they were like two. Some hidden presents there. And then some candles as well. Oh, we do need some plants somewhere actually. Could add some on the wall. And then where's a little teeny tiny one? This one is so cute. I'm gonna add two of them. My door, come back. Better give her a fire alarm because I really don't want her to die. And maybe even a temperature thing. Not many items will actually go in this thing, which is kind of annoying, I won't lie. The books go in there. Okay, books go in there and that can go up there. We could add this onto the window. Oh God, it's in the sink. Could I like make it little? Oh God, that's worse. Okay, that, yeah, that's, that's not gonna work. Oh, there we go. We could have these streamer things. Oh, and she's always got Christmas cards on the wall, definitely. And then just like random little bits and bobs. I can just pop everywhere. Christmas trees hanging out the door. And these things actually go on top of the door as well, which is kind of, kind of cute. Could have more cards in the corner. And then I think that's how I'm gonna leave it actually. I love this, it's so nice and cozy. And then the last bedroom to do is the grand and granddad's bedroom. I feel like they'd be the type of people to have swapped their bedroom around so that the twins could have like the bigger bedroom. I want the bed from Cottage Living for this. If we turn around and pop it that way, and then we need Oh, I probably would have put bigger ones in if they'd fit, but it's quite a squished room. So I'm gonna add these from Seasons. For dresses, we could add quite a big one. Or we could use this old one. Or the vampire one. The vampire one's really pretty. Actually, I'm blocking that only window. That's not a good idea. Why are you blue? There we go. We could add like a little Christmas thing in here. If I size that down, pop it over the window. And then we haven't got much room. <laughs> we could add, oh, they def definitely have got an alarm clock. Oh, we could use this werewolf one. Actually, hold on. I'll pop this in the kitchen because I feel like they've always got more than one because they don't trust technology. So we could pop one there. And then I feel like they'd have like old little trinkets type of things. Anything here that we could use in this section? I mean, we could add a gnome and then maybe like a nice photo above the bed. I mean, this one actually could work in this room. Oh, the autumn one though, that's so pretty. And then a rug and then I think that's all the space I've got. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so this is it. This is my family house at Christmas time. What do you think? Honestly, I, I really like it. I think it's really cute and cozy. I'm gonna put this on the gallery now before someone shouts me in the comments because I always forget. I'm terrible at it. I'm so sorry. So 
let me know in the comments down below which room is your favorite. I think it's the twins bedroom. I really like that bedroom. But yeah, I hope you have a really nice Christmas, a really nice New Year's, whatever you do. Give this video a like, please subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next one soon. Bye. Right, upload this to the gallery before you forget.